What's going on guys? It is your boy Jake Daniels and welcome back. So in today's video we are going to be discussing what product is best for a slick back hairstyle. So I've got a few products in front of me, free to be uh, precise. I've been testing them out over the last few weeks and these products are the Blue Man Cavalier Clay, Damon Barber Texture Clay and uh, Ruzel Pink Pomade. In today's video we're going to be talking about all of these three products, what they are, what uh, hair type they suit best and what are the advantages of using these products as we determine what is best for a slick back hairstyle. It's almost like a battle between them, but it's like a triple threat instead. Oh mate, remember triple threat matches in wrestling? Can you remember? Mate, I miss those days. Remember like Stone Cold, The Rock, Triple H and Kane in like, what's that massive cage match? Hell in a Cell. Oh my God. My favorite wrestler as a kid was Kane. I, actually, who was your favorite wrestler as a kid before we get the video started? Let me know in the comment section down below because uh, this is literally the best question I've ever asked on my channel. Just really quickly, I would love to get your input in this video. Tell me in the comment section down below which is the best um, hair product you think is on the market right now. So we're going to start with the Damon Barber Texture Clay formerly known as the uh, number four. The first thing you think of like when uh, you get this product in your hand is that uh, it's absolute class. Like it's a glass jar, the packaging I'm a massive fan of. When you open the jar and uh, give it a cheeky little smell, honestly, it's the best scent I've ever come across for a hair product, honestly. It's just so, so wonderful. It has the standard clay color. Even though these are positives, it's not gonna mean absolute shit if uh, it's a bad product. So let's go ahead and test this product out. The packaging does state that it's a strong hold matte finish clay, but after testing it out, I was a little bit disappointed because to me, it's not really like a clay. It's way too soft to be a clay. It's almost like a putty. It's very easy to scoop out compared to like other clays. Some I find really rock hard to get out. And when I break it down in my hands, it's really really smooth. I was aware people have said before that the Damon Barber clay is really grippy when you apply it to your hair and I completely disagree. I didn't experience any of this whatsoever. My hands were gliding through my hair really smoothly. It's a really nice application. I would definitely recommend this product for uh, people with straight hair. The texture is actually great. This is one of the products I would recommend if you're going for a textured look. Impressed with this product so far but how did it perform throughout the day? And the answer to that is unfortunately not so good. I walked outside my house and within 10 minutes the left part of my slick back fell down my face and that is not what I expect from a clay product whatsoever. I'm not too sure about you guys but when I think of the word clay I expect it to be a really strong product. I can relax knowing that my hair is going to stay in the same position that I styled it in uh, throughout the day. A lot of people were saying to me try the Damon Barber clay it's going to work amazing and I always get great results. In my opinion this product is more suited towards people with dead straight hair. If you've got straight hair Definitely give the Damon Barber Texture Clay a go because I know for a fact you're really gonna love it. I've actually got really curly hair slash like wavy. Now we're going to move on to a product I'm a massive fan of. Recently I ordered the Ruzel Pink Pomade in a tiny little jar and when I finished I'm gonna order a shit ton and this is why. So it actually comes in this really unique packaging. Like the first time I saw it I was like what the fuck is a pig doing on the front fan? Let's open this up and scent wise it is so so good to smell. It's really really sweet honestly. Like, if I'm walking in my bathroom during my daily routine, I'll literally just pick it up and smell the scent just for the sake of it. It scoops out so easy. I only take this much. Now, with pomades, you don't want to take too much because it can leave your hair looking very, very greasy. Scoop out just about enough. Cover your hair in pomade. Then, if you need to, add some more and coat it all over. I've seen so many hair tutorials before and like people just overuse the pomade and you don't need to do that because it starts to look really, really greasy. There is a tiny bit of pull when it goes in your hair and what you notice immediately is the shine. It's actually a really pleasant experience applying the Ruzel Pink Pomade to your hair. Now, my natural hair type is curly. My hair strengthening treatment is starting to wear off, which has left my hair more wavy now. I've tested out this product a lot and experimented with it and I found out that you can use this product two ways. The first way for people who have curly and wavy hair is to get your hair wet and then blow dry out as much as the curls and waves as possible. And then apply the Ruzel Pink Pomade. If you're going to go for this option, you're gonna to have to use quite a lot of the uh, pink pomade. The second way is to get your hair damp and then apply a generous amount um, and coat your hair evenly. The hold is very strong and my hair doesn't move out of place all day. And that is the sort of product I'm after. With this product, you have the ability to uh, reshape your hairstyle throughout the day because it is an oil-based pomade. Now, the only negative I've got of this product is that being an oil-based pomade, it's just so, so hard to wash it out of your hair. This product is amazing for anyone with uh, curly or wavy hair looking to go for a sleek back. If I'm in a rush and I've got to leave the house in a few minutes, I literally just get my uh, hair damp, 
chuck some rouge or pink pomade in it and then within a few minutes I'm at the door and my hair's uh, just going to stay in place all day long. Overall this is going to be an amazing uh, product if you want a slick back hairstyle and it suits every single hair type. However there is not that much shine um, especially for a product that claims it's a medium shine. I'd say like it's more of a low shine. I do think you'll find that this product is more activated and it's much more shinier when used with uh, damp hair especially when you get into like natural lit environments. Lastly we are moving on to the Blue Man Cavalier Clay. This is the packaging it comes in. It's labeled that clearly what the product is and what it's supposed to do. It's a heavy whole clay which after using it I completely agree it gives me a very nice matte finish. For the people who have this product already let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it because I'm waiting to hear from you and also there's going to be other people scrolling down the comments and they're going to want to get your feedback as well. For experience of using this product I can tell you that it suits all hairstyles. If you're going for a quiff um, this is literally the best product because it texturizes so so easy and you can build some crazy volume as well. Quiffs are supposed to be texturized and this product certainly does that to your hair very well. It does state on the packaging that it's supposed to create extreme texture and I completely agree with it. However, how does the Cavalier Clay perform in my hair throughout the day? very very well. Every single time I apply it to my hair I have the confidence knowing that I can go out and just do whatever and my hair will stay in place throughout the day. I would 100% recommend this product. A lot of people compare the Hans de Fuco Claymation to the Blue Man Cavalier Clay and let me tell you the Cavalier Clay absolutely blows claymation out of the water. This is top dog. So which is best for a slick back hairstyle? Gotta say the Rusal Pink Pomade is a great option if you wanna go for uh, a slick back because it holds your hair in place all day. And if you want like a shiny uh, finish, definitely give this product a try. It's a really low shine and I'm able to adjust my hairstyle throughout the day. And like even then my hairstyle stays in place. So Rusal Pink Pomade, well done lads. However, if you're going for a matte finish, the uh, Blue Man Cavalier Clay is the best product for you. It allows me to create texture in my hair and uh, my hairstyle locks into place all day long. Sorry Damon Barber, it's a no from me. I've got to say though, um, Damon Barber will work really, really well for people with straight hair. But like I said earlier on in the video guys, different uh, products will have different effects for people's hairstyles. The best way to find a product which is good for you is to really go ahead and test all these out because you may be very surprised. So guys, I thought I'd go for something a little bit different in today's video. I hope you liked it. Give me some feedback down below in the comment section. By the way, I hit 300,000 followers today on YouTube and I just want to say thank you so much for uh, your unconditional support over the years. It really means a lot to me and honestly, thank you so, so much. I'll see everybody in my next video. I'm Jay Daniels.